What's up, all you hot sub enthusiasts, and welcome back to the Daily Hero, the best place to go your comic book, movie, video game, nerdy news goodness here on the internet. Here is today's top stories. Sony is once again going back to their golden goose in the Spider-Man franchise and actively developing a Silk TV show, rumored to be part of Amazon Prime. Now, if you don't know who Silk is, she's a relatively obscure character from Marvel Comics, having only debuted a couple of years ago, but she's quickly gained prominence as she's a Korean-American character named Cindy Moon. Now, people love her look and design and aesthetic, and she's been an really awesome part of the Spider-Man comics for years now. So it is exciting to see her potentially come to either the small screen, the big screen, or your computer screen. But at the same time, Sony has a checkered background that we're all not quite certain with. Other than that, though, we do have some promise as if Lord and Miller of Into the Spider-Verse fame are executive producing, but also Amy Pascal, who produced the Amazing Spider-Man movies, is also executive producing. So we shall see. Are you guys excited about a potential Silk series? What do you want to see happen in the show? Let me know down below. In Sean Just Can't Have Nice Things news, the Batman has shut down production yet again as a COVID-19 outbreak has been spotted, this time on the star himself, Robert Pattinson. Now, as we currently know, he's the only one who has it. And production still has to shut down, though, for at least two weeks, as everyone gets it clear to make sure they don't have the deadly virus. But there is some optimism that it's just going to be a passing thing, or that's potentially a false positive. We'll let you know as soon as we can, because that teaser trailer got me so happy and so hyped, and I need that in my life right now. I really do. But other than that, guys, let me know what you think down below. If Robert Pattinson can't play Batman anymore, who should play him? I don't know. Me? I'd like to get in shape to play Batman. Warner Brothers, call me. As it is Friday, guys, we'll let you know about all the new things that are coming out this weekend. The big one is Tenet, which is in select theaters of nationwide, predominantly everywhere but New York and LA. So that's going to be a big part of their box office eventually when the theaters reopen in those regions. But I saw yesterday in Connecticut, guys, I gotta say, it's definitely going to be worth seeing in theaters. It's not going to have the same effect at home. So if you can see it in theaters, see it in theaters. But make sure you're safe and wear a mask. But if you want to stay home this weekend, you also have The Boys Season 2, as the first three episodes drop this Friday, and they're going to come out every Friday until this, this season's done. And I gotta say, I'm really pumped to watch this. The first season was excellent. Carl Arvin is my wet dream of a man. Anthony Starr is terrifying as Homelander, but also addicting to watch. I highly, highly recommend. Netflix also has a new show called Away, starring Hilary Swank, which is about a voyage to Mars and the effect it has on families being separated. It sounds interesting. I haven't watched it yet. Let me know what you do, though, down below. And finally, in anime news, Blue Exorcist is also debuting its second season on Netflix. Let me know what you guys think down below. That's all the news I have for you guys. Please give this video a like, share, subscribe, tell your friends. Hit that notification bell, ding, 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 for all videos here at Here Network TV. Uh, other than that, guys, you can follow me at Big Bear Sister on Instagram. Follow us on Hero Network TV on all social media platforms. Look out for the Hero Network podcast. It's going to be every week from going on. You get all the insights here at Hero Network. Other than that, guys, I will see you next week.